Hey everybody, welcome back to the studio. Today we are gonna be doing watercolor flowers and all you're gonna need is a watercolor palette, a round paintbrush, and then I'm doing mine on a um, square piece of watercolor paper. You can decide on what size you wanna do, but make sure you have some cold pressed watercolor paper. I use 140 pound because it holds the water um, really nice and it also just helps with even your colors looking brighter. So let's get started. Okay, for our floral arrangement today, um, I don't ever use pencil with this. Normally I'll kind of sketch out lightly, um, but for the florals, I, I keep it very loose um, and kind of just let the paint go where it wants to. So um, I'm getting a little water on my palette and you can choose what colors you want to use for your floral arrangement. I'm gonna stick to doing um, kind of some orangey, uh, roses but roses really come in a lot of different colors so choose whichever color you want to for yours okay I'm gonna do um, a grouping of three and so I'm kind of just gonna put some paint down on the paper this is just a first layer I'm leaving some spots of white though in here um, just to have a nice contrast for as we build up our colors. It's nice to see those like white highlights kind of coming through. And I'm going in a circular design and kind of coming in and then coming out as I build these. Um, and then maybe I'm gonna go kind of, I kind of want it like a triangle for my design um, with my placement of these. Those can kind of be next to each other. Okay, that's good for placement of my flowers. Um, and usually when I'm doing a design of florals, I keep it to odd numbers for like my big flowers, whatever I'm doing, um, just because odd numbers are always more pleasing than, than even numbers. It, it kind of feels off if there's an even number. So you could do three or five, um, but stick to your odd numbers. Okay, I'm gonna go now and put in my first layer of some of my greens on here, my, my foliage, and I'm gonna mix up um, a green, and I'm kind of wanting these colors to be a little bit more muted and blend together and so I'm gonna add a little bit of red into my green just to dilute the um, brightness of the green because red is green's complementary color and so it kind of um, will tone it down if you mix equal parts of gray or not gray if you mix equal parts of red and green you, you will neutralize it completely um, so that's why I'll use a little bit of red and a little bit of blue Again, um, it's fun to do florals because you can be so loose with your brush stroke. And I'm just pulling, pulling this out right now. I'm also kind of sticking to like a radial design um, and kind of having some go off this way and this way. Um, just to keep that circular motion of the piece. It kind of gives it some movement. Um, to create some leaves, you can kind of start um, with a light pressure on your brush and then press down and then release the pressure. And it will give you um, Kind of like a fun leafy shape.
I also just put a lot of marks in where um, when I just have still some paint on my brush, I just go in and just dab in spots um, and do some quick marks. Okay, while well that kind of first layer is drying, I'm gonna go back with um, my orange and go darker on that. Now, when I come back with this second layer, um, I'm being careful to um, not completely cover up my first layer. You want that to be able to show through. It will give it a lot more um, depth and dimension to, to your flowers, having these different values of your orange, your lights, and your darks. kind of mixing up a really nice dark um, orange for the very center of my rose. Come over onto um, my greens over here and just start adding some more um, layering on top of these. Doing some fun, just a little dabbing with the brush um, to create these little little marks that kind of look like they could be some type of like you know branches, sticks, leaves, anything, anything you want it to be. back with a darker green on top of all this. I'm letting some of this come on now with um, wet into wet so that it kind of mixes and blends into our other colors. Coming in with just a little bit more dark. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna go dry this real fast and then come in and just put some nice darks on the very, very last layer. Okay, before I put those darks in, I think I'm gonna put a few more um, lighter greens just on the outside real fast. The fun part about doing these is um, it's just all the layers blended together and the lights and the darks on top. It just is so fun um, to kind of just have that freedom with the paintbrush to put a mark down and, and see the layers on top. And I feel like they're very, um, florals are very forgiving. And so um, if you feel like you, you know, put a spot down you didn't like so much, you can always come back um, and just kind of go over it with another Another brush stroke, another color. Okay, I like, yeah, having a few more lights in there now. Now I'm gonna come back with a nice dark, um, I'm gonna kind of make a black. Um, I stay away from, I don't have a black in this palette and I don't like using black just because it can dull your painting. And so whenever I use like a dark, I call it black, but I, cr I make it by using um, green. I'll just mix it in this spot. By using some green and then some blue. And then I'll grab red. And that gets me a nice dark. And it, and it does look almost black. I'm just gonna grab a little bit more of each of those colors so that's nice and dark. Yeah, that looks good. And then with my dark, I'm just gonna come in and just like kind of tap in a few little spots. I just kind of like having that nice contrast in there. Okay, I'm gonna say that is done. Obviously with floral, florals too, you could probably even just keep going a little bit more, a little bit more and just building it up because um, it is so fun. You can see all the different um, layers under there, you know, from our first layers, that lighter values to the ones on top, the darker ones. So again, it gives it so much depth and dimension to it. Thank you for following along in today's video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed. I am doing videos every week. Um, let me know in the comments if there's something you'd like to see specifically. And I hope you had fun doing the watercolor flowers with us. This is a great idea for Mother's Day if you haven't done that yet um, to give to mom or even doing this on like a smaller size and then having it as like a card for a birthday, uh, baby shower, anything really. It's always fun to kind of throw this um, on a variety of things. So thank you and I will see you next week.